All right, guys, we're going to be covering some of the leaks I've seen about the new Call of Duty today. Um, not necessarily everything I've seen has been a bad thing. There's a lot of good things I've seen as well. But uh, I've gotten all this information from a man who goes by the Gaming Revolution on Twitter. And he's leaked a lot of things in the past that have turned out to be true. Um, so let's just see what he had to say. The first thing is that the game uses a brand new engine that's been in development for five years. Which is good news because in my opinion black ops 4 looks like complete dog ass uh the colors in that game are just washed out it feels like i'm playing at like 40 fps i don't know if that's just me but bo4 kind of sucks <laughs> so, i mean so that's that's good news also spec ops is coming back i, I think this is already confirmed though i don't know 100 percent for sure if this is already confirmed but i'm pretty sure i heard that spec ops is confirmed to be coming back so i don't know if that's completely a leak or not but i'm just gonna throw that out there that uh he did say spec ops is coming back um the big one though is he's claiming battle royale is coming back to call of duty and raven software is the team behind battle royale so infinity ward doesn't really have any less people working on the actual multiplayer spec ops campaign and all that i would be lying if i said i wasn't excited about it i still enjoy battle royale games and i think in a modern warfare setting it could be a lot of fun i believe PUBG might have been set in like modern warfare type of settings but i mean PUBG is in Call of Duty, you know? So if Battle Royale does come back, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit excited about it. I know a lot of people are gonna be pissed off and say Battle Royale's stale and all that, but I mean, let's be honest, like just normal arcade shooter Call of Duty style multiplayer is getting kind of stale. And that just adds more content to the game. The multiplayer reveal is supposed to be coming out soon after DLC three on bo4 which comes out on july 9th i believe so we should have a reveal trailer within the next couple weeks here and he said that's supposed to be revealed with the multiplayer reveal tra trailer so even if it's like a five second tease of battle royale just to like kind of announce it that's supposed to be in the multiplayer reveal trailer i guess um and i feel like that's gonna get some bad feedback and some more information about the battle royale is there's going to be a hundred versus hundred tdm mode which could be very fun and the map is two to three times the size of blackout and there's a 150 player count in battle royale right now i remember seeing somewhere online that they're trying to get that player count up to 200 in the no normal modes because i mean if they're doing a hundred versus hundred tdm mode i would you know that would make sense um there's gonna be 35 locations on the map which is like actually insane that's yeah that's massive the armor system in the battle royale mode is supposed to work like PUBG, where you have separate head and like chest gear that are in that are in different rarities and you can repair your armor and blackout i mean if armor works anything like it did in blackout uh yeah i don't think i'd be playing the mode too much to be honest if that's the case some of this stuff in multiplayer has me a bit worried for instance this one uh it takes forever to scope in with snipers even with attachments apparently it's really slow and this is something that could easily be changed by launch i i've heard anywhere up to one to two seconds to ads with a sniper because they want to keep it realistic and as a sniper myself as someone who likes to run around being aggressive as fuck, quick scoping everyone, trying to hit clips and stuff. I'm sorry. I know there's a lot of people out there that hate it, but that's that's how I have fun on COD, man. But this is the biggest thing that has me worried about the new game. And I didn't want a beta for the game at first because I wanted it the game to just come out and feel fresh, everything brand new, like haven't seen anything. But it's little things like this that make me want to have a beta so we can all bitch to them about how we don't like it although i've seen on all the reddit posts like 
people are all happy about this change because they hate people quick scoping and they say it's game breaking and it's a glitch if it was an actual game breaking glitch i think this is something that would have been changed a long time ago and it looks like that's what they're going for so that has me really worried i know there is a lot of people happy but trust me every single sniper that plays call of duty is going to be absolutely pissed the fuck off if sniping's actually like this because if we want realistic sniping we're gonna go play battlefield you know what i mean if i want a really realistic warfare type of game i'll go play battlefield and i don't want to play battlefield i you, you know i like this kind of unrealistic type of shit another thing that has me worried is riot shields are rumored to be coming back or leaked or whatever i don't like riot shields they're not fun to play against <laughs> also the riot shield will have a flashlight on it <laughs> yeah um this isn't like in the normal maps um apparently there's going to be like nighttime maps where the map is completely pitch black where you can't see anything and you're required to use night vision goggles and apparently with these night vision goggles on you can't ads and i guess there's like parts of these maps where you can like turn power on to like light certain areas up and you can only have the flashlight on the riot shield on those maps so basically you have your normal maps and then you have those same maps that are pitch black in these nighttime modes or i'm not sure what they'll call it but honestly when those nighttime maps come up i'll probably just back my ass out of that lobby yeah as it says right here maps in modern warfare will have day and night variants in the night variants you must use your night vision goggles victor also said night vision goggles is a crucial part of the game so that explains why and i'm guessing those night vision goggles only make a big difference on those nighttime maps i mean i i would assume adding on to that there's 15 maps in total that are supposed to be released with the game and that's not including the large maps which we'll get to in a minute there's 15 total maps right and then there's 15 maps that are completely in the dark that are the exact same map but in the dark so we still have 15 normal maps which is great because these recent games have been releasing with what like eight to ten maps like we've been kind of getting cucked a little bit um and then the large maps i was talking about is there's supposed to be a war mode like the mode that was in world war ii um so i kind of like that i i liked war mode that was a lot of fun uh kill streaks ac130 is supposed to be coming back but the highest kill streak is supposed to be the juggernaut suit and the game has a nuke kill streak and it doesn't say here but i've read it i believe from his twitter post or somewhere on reddit that it is just going to be a 25 kill gun streak so like kill streak kills and all that don't add up to it i believe in this game it's actually going to be kill streaks instead of score streaks which i like a lot and there's going to be a total of 47 weapons that release with the game but some of those might be cut and saved for dlc because good old uh activision loves their moolah another thing is we don't have a pick 10 system anymore it's a pick 5 system but it's not as bad as it sounds because basically you're able to choose a primary and secondary weapon you're able to choose your three perks and then your lethal and tactical and then the five pick system is attachments you just choose five attachments so you get your primary secondary perks lethal tactical all that and then you have to choose between five attachments between both of your guns so i mean that might result in a lot of like nade and stuns and flash spam so i don't know but i mean that's that's a change that to me could be for the better honestly because everyone just kind of stocks up attachments on their primary weapons now and just uses hardly anything else like two three perks and then a primary weapon and attachments is what everyone seems to use nowadays so i kind of like that but then looking at it again the nade and stuns and flash spams that could be an issue um hopefully there's attack mask that actually works well in this game unlike black ops 4 <clears throat> but yeah those are the biggest things out of all the leaks i've seen so far i'll put a link in the description of the reddit post that kind of compiles all these leaks into one area if you guys do want to go through and read all those um i mean there's a lot of good things i've seen in this and there's also those couple things 
that have me really worried like the whole sniper thing for me personally would would just be game breaking sniping is how i've always had fun on call of duty and i know there's people out there thinking well you can still snipe you can just play like a real sniper now well that's not fun i like running around playing aggressive quick scoping people but that's how i've had fun on cod man so the long ass ads time on snipers could be just absolutely game breaking for me basically it's it's that one thing that i'm worried about um i hope that gets fixed i know a lot of people will disagree with me on that but um we all play we all have fun playing call of duty differently but yeah guys if you want to watch some of this gameplay that's been shown on screen here live i stream every single day besides sundays go to twitch.tv slash websy over there okay because i stream every single day besides sundays all right i love you guys here's the web peace